You know, technology can be hard. You need to be across so many things. And if you're somebody who is very technical, you've become a engineer, you're an administrator, you're a support person, you're a developer. Now you wanna look at going and becoming an IT manager. And of course the IT manager needs to be across a lot of stuff. They need to be across everything that is under their responsibility, but also they now need to take on responsibilities that are more managerial. Responsibilities that are a little bit more strategic, a little bit more big picture, while keeping a hat on, perhaps in a technical space. And also, it's not uncommon for IT managers to be responsible for managing people actually managing people, making sure that people that are technical, development people, administrators, support people are managed and that they can do their job correctly. Because as somebody who is becoming an IT manager, the buck stops with you. You are the one responsible for most of the day-to-day -day IT tasks. And when things go wrong, when things go pear-shaped, you're the one who's gonna be consulted upon. So it can be a little bit daunting. Hey doing? my name is Emilio. I'm a tech professional. I love technology. And if you love tech, why don't you subscribe to this channel? I release videos every week on all things tech for people like you that wanna learn more about technology, managerial stuff, technical stuff. We cover all of it. So now it's time to go for an interview. Are you actively looking for work? Maybe you're somebody who's thinking about, hey, I've been technical for a long time, I now wanna become a manager. Maybe you're already an IT manager and just looking for that next job. All I'm gonna give you is my tips, my recommendations, but then it's up to you to prepare for everything. Just because I'm giving you all the stuff doesn't mean that you're gonna go for an interview and you're gonna pass it. Get the skills up, get the knowledge, practice everything that we're gonna be talking about in this video so then you can then be successful when you do actually go and land your interview. So the first thing first is you need to make sure that you have the skills. I mean, this is sort of something that's pretty important. You may be somebody who is only a few years into IT. Well, are you skilled enough to be able to land the job in technology? Are you technical enough to land an IT manager job? And these could be ranging from IT administrator skills, so people who look after infrastructure, servers, storage, networking, understanding about security, understanding about day-to-day -day support, and then maybe understanding a little bit about development, the different sorts of programming languages and how they're all compiled to make something that will benefit the business. You, of course, they need to put all of that stuff into your resume, into your CV, making sure that your resume is as detailed as possible, but also not fully, fully long, not like encompassing every single thing that you've ever done in your career. You don't wanna be doing that. Highlight the things that may impress your future manager that are sort of leadership achievements, leadership traits. If you went and led a project and it was successful, talk about that. If you mentored technical people, junior people in the organization, talk about that. Really highlight your leadership abilities, but also highlight things that have been big picture. Maybe you've worked in strategy. Maybe you've helped develop roadmaps. Maybe you've helped with really big projects and maybe led some of them. These are all things that we're gonna be looking for from a manager perspective. So the most important thing that you can do is understand the role of IT manager. If you wanna know a little bit more about the specific role of IT manager, you can check out that video over there where I went into a lot more detail around exactly what the IT manager does and perhaps even the different types of IT manager roles. So let's just say you've now landed your interview. Let's say your CV impressed, the skills in there were good, your LinkedIn was really good, and it attracted somebody, you've applied for a job, and now you've got an interview lined up. The first thing you need to do is really research the company. Understand what the company does. The company that is now gonna be recruiting you, know what they do, know who their customers are, know what they're selling their product, understand a little bit about the people who work there. So do a bit of research on the company. If you like the financial stuff, how are they doing financially? Are they on the stock market? The next thing you need to do is start preparing for the questions. Now you're gonna be asked probably two lots of different types of questions. Behavioral questions and technical questions. Questions that are gonna be aimed at you technically to make sure that you have the technical IT skills to be able to do the role. And then questions that are a little bit more behavioral and more focused around Tell me about a time when you did this. Tell me about a time when you failed in this, what did you do? Tell me about a time when you led a team successfully through a project. 
all of those things will be a little bit more behavioral, but also with a technical spin and also remembering your managerial hat. You are wanting to impress and show them that you have become a good leader, that you are not just a manager, but a leader that people can follow you, that you've got it all under control, that you're good at time management, you're good at risk management, you're good at change management, you've got a good understanding around scheduling and prioritizing your tasks. Show that sort of stuff when you're preparing your sample questions. Now, every interview is gonna be different, so you're gonna be asked different questions depending on the company. Research that position description and frame potentially some sample questions that you could be asked during your interview. You then need to start preparing some questions that you can ask back to the interview panel. Make them really, really good questions. Don't just throw away the section. A lot of people just throw away this section and when you ask them, do you have any questions for us? They say, no, I don't. Show an interest in the company, in the people that are interviewing you. What do they do? Why do they like working for the company? Ask questions about what they can expect from you once you've been given the role. Maybe ask a question about where the company wants to head into the five, 10 year future. Now it becomes interview time and now you have to prepare. You have to come prepared. Go early, go presentable. If it's going to be online, if it's going to be in person, make sure you arrive early. Not too early that it becomes desperate, but not late. Never, never, never become late. Bring yourself a copy of your CV. It's always good to have some spare copies. Bring yourself a notepad and pen. Get your notes ready. Notepad and pen with some of the questions that you may be asking the panel. And then during the interview, take notes. Generally for this sort of a role, for an IT manager role, I'm gonna say for the most part, you're not gonna have just one interview. You're probably gonna have two, maybe three, maybe more interviews, starting off with maybe some more junior people, working into a few more senior people. You may be firstly interviewed by somebody that you're gonna be reporting into, but then later rounds may actually have somebody a little bit more senior, like a director, or even the C-level or the CEO themselves. When the interview is done, you do have to do your follow-up, making sure that you are following them up afterwards, let them know, that you appreciate that they spent the time with you. Is there anything that I can help with? Any questions that I could maybe answer for you? Now, I generally don't recommend having discussions about money, about the title, salary, working locations, things like that during the interview. I generally recommend having those discussions after you've been offered the job. Good opportunity for you to negotiate. Talk about where you're working from. Is it a hybrid? Are you working from home? Are you working in an office? Are you working in different locations? Is travel required? All of those sort of questions. You could potentially ask them in a last round interview, or you could wait until you've been offered a job or at least something verbal to then start having those discussions. Now, if you wanna know a lot more than this, I've got a full length training course specifically on this topic. In the show notes, check out my training course on landing the IT manager role. We go into a lot more detail on some of the stuff that we covered here and then a lot more. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me, let us know maybe why you wanna become an IT manager. It's a great profession. And anyway, we talk about tech on this channel. Every week we release videos that I know that you will find helpful. And we'll talk to you next time as we continue talking about all things tech.